Welcome everyone to Phosphor-G Day 5. Uh, I'm glad you're here with us uh, today in Yuma Waka Room. I will be your session host. My name is Arna Lee and we have six exciting talks lined up for you today. And kicking it off is uh, Rainer Tasico. So Rainer Tasico is a climate change uh, reality member from the Philippines. He is currently he currently works on health information system of the Philippines. And here with us now, uh, he will talk about climate adaptation from the state of birthing facility accessibility for women in the Philippines. Rainier, uh, get it on. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Arnelly, and hello, everyone, and pleasant uh, day to all of you. So now, uh, okay, so let me share my screen. So, there. Yeah, so, this is a talk regarding the climate adaptation from the state of birth facility accessibility for women in the Philippines in the year uh, 2020. So, uh, okay. So, okay. For the phosphor G21. So, right now, so. <laughs> Okay, so be the topic of uh, plan to the end map for tomorrow. It's uh, data where data can save lives. So for today's agenda, so uh, so right now, uh, introduction and check in and uh, what are natural hazards and pillars of health care system, uh, importantly OSM, OSM here and building houses, clinics, and etc. data methods discussion. So by the way, I've used um, LibreOffice here for my, uh, for for the presentation. Uh, right now, so we're now moving, uh, here in, uh, what are natural hazards? So basically, uh, natural hazards um, uh, maybe from the, uh, the, uh, third group. So, by the way, this uh, came from the uh, health EDRM um, uh, article. So, and geophysical, hydrological, meteorological, climatological, biological, and extraterrestrial. Although that uh, here. Uh, so, by the way, uh, Philippines uh, Philippines is located at the Typhoon Belt and the Pacific Ring of Fire. So uh, an excerpt from Bernard Island Rocomas, the Tropical Cyclone Density and Tracks um, from 1884 and to until 2018. Although that um, till now, Philippines still um, experiencing uh, um, the changes from, clim from the climate change. So, okay, so what are these natural hazards that uh, uh, that we are currently experiencing? So, uh, so with the help of our, our government and other uh, concerned uh, non government organizations and agencies. So, uh, years ago, there is the Typhoon Haiyan, and uh, recently, um, Mulabe and Goni, although that I'm much more on. Um, became involved on Malabe and Goni uh, regarding uh, the mapping initiative with the um, the humanitarian open suite map. So, and thankfully, uh, I I feel that I've uh, uh, grown well or uh, professionally and uh, professionally and uh, personally um, with uh, our community. So. Uh, here we have Mika Tamura. So here uh, he taught me as well uh, from the map backs regarding the usage of the humanitarian open street map and um, other people as well from the uh, open street map Philippines community uh, on the usage of open street map uh, aside from the humanitarian open street map team as well. So with this, uh, we've also mapped the map areas of the uh, Philippines and Right now, we are the uh, we are uh, contributing much more on the usage of the uh, open street map. So, okay. So, uh, if anyone of you are familiar with the open street map, so if you haven't, uh, 
or you have it, just it. So right now, uh, let me share my uh, screen regarding on the Himalaya of this. So, okay. Yeah, so I here, uh, oh, okay. So, and, and um, log in and uh, use your account. So here we can edit or uh, contribute on what we know regard uh, locally on the information that, uh, that we can uh, contribute in, in our community, especially on, uh, there are a lot of users who are uh, currently um, um, using this for their uh, research and other activities as well, uh, especially for planning and so on, which is much more uh, much more updated uh, in the context of our country or here in the Philippines rather. So here, uh, so why it is um, we can contribute on making uh, buildings, houses, uh, roads on the nodes or um, point of inter or our point of interest here. So um, by the way, I am here now in uh, UP Los Banjos uh, and I am living here uh, near the, uh, near the shrine. So uh, anyway, close this now and uh, want to share uh, what we uh, uh, have from we have part on month ago or last 2020 so okay so okay press that Okay. Recent drive. Okay, there. So using uh, Google Sheets, so we have uh, crowdsourced or uh, processed this with the help of our, some of our experts in using this of OpenStreetMap and the OpenStreetMap Philippines uh, community, uh, especially from uh, <laughs> Faye and uh, Mami Arnali uh, at Delay, especially here in processing data as well and guiding us on the usage of the uh, open street map and making uh, tags here. So basically, we uh, we have processed a lot of data from the DOH and we are. So I also plan on cleaning it further and making uh, a lot of changes here. So especially on making the uh, uh, coordinates coordinates of these uh, breaking facilities, which I, we have already processed most of it. So here, um, namely the provinces uh, in the Philippines from NCR, uh, Region 1, uh, 
Cordillera Administrative Region, Region 2, Region 3, 4A, 4B, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 11, 12, and Bansamara at Tumas Region, Muslim Mindanao. So, uh, although that this one is much more on, uh, on the focus on birthing homes, although that uh, we haven't uh, added the data from the hospitals of the utilization in the healthcare system uh, that uh, with an accreditation level of two and three. So, uh, yeah, by the way, I um, I missed something that uh, I sh should have shared earlier. So, by the way, this is the six pillars of the healthcare. I forgot to mention regarding, the, uh, as part of the importance here, uh, I'm, talking, I'm talking about. So, here, uh, six pillars of healthcare systems, that leadership and governance, financing, health information systems, medicine, technology, and health workers, and ser service delivery. So, by the way, um, I'm already uh, talking about the leadership, governance, service delivery, and health information systems, medicine, and technology. So, here, um, I'm talking about the logistics and the healthcare service delivery. Healthcare service delivery, wherein we can already uh, uh, talk about the logistics part and the uh, availability of services in the and printing homes, all the, that there are basic uh, obstetrics and uh, and called clinics and and much much more on the comprehensive one, which uh, um, caters much more of the services for the uh, people. So right now, so uh, using this data, so. I made one for oh sorry this one this from a project so I put a project rather okay so so I've made this one from the uh UMAP OpenStreetMap so uh here uh, we have uh, although that I haven't uh, included this uh in the or loaded this on a website uh, using Google Maps and so on. So I uh, I only use this for uh, for prototyping. And moreover, I as I've said earlier, uh, this uh, this information or details that here uh, that is here right now that facilitating uh, alternative alternative name facility type ownership regions province city municipality brand guys. So we right now we have uh, barang. So basically in Philippines we use in the uh, the regions, province, municipality, and barangay. So I think uh, in other areas they use as county and so on. So in the address here, couple number, couple na email address, website lah, that it will include. And so we have the bill health here for the health insurance system. So. There. Okay. So, so <laughs> I have said that, and yes, the usage of uh, our application of the, uh, and then uh, making so, part of the visualization of the uh, process data. So here uh, we can see uh, the availability of services. So across the Philippines so this is a sample yet so and then, then uh, for the real thing uh, okay. uh, data visualization for this so here uh, I con counted the as part of my uh, personal project so here uh, So I use data wrap. So I use data wrapper here and 
uh, please the IDs and the values of how many birthing facilities are uh, available in that on that area. So uh, in that municipality, sorry, under that region. So with that, uh, that represents the uh, color if you visualize it. So uh, so you are now wondering on um, how did I counted this? So uh, we can use we can count it here and count it and place it here uh, regarding the um, municipalities or cities or and further process if if possible in on uh, the uh, the labor office. So with that and then we can now visualize the data that we have processed. So. So as you can see, uh, we can uh, change the uh, the color here and based on the values and the ID. So oh my god. So I have uploaded it here. So, so basically there are a lot of information at this here. So okay. What is this? Okay, so moving forward, then okay, so then we can visualize it. So up, upon uploading the data, rather, so here they can visualize the data then publish it later all the one i have finished um last 2020 and hoping to integrate it for furthermore in the uh, gender country profile that we have right now in the philippines so okay so this one is the finished product that I've made uh, last uh, uh, the first quarter of 2021. So this one, okay. How can okay? So there uh, for the virtual facilities, I'm using the DOH 2020 data, which uh, I haven't uh, really. Uh, Refine it further since the availability of data is is scarce. So there is a steep uh steep progress here, and with that, uh, I am <laughs> finishing my talk. My talk and thank you. So I will stop sharing now. Yes. <clears throat> thank you, Rainier. Uh, thank you for having a good time management too. So we have one question from the uh, audiences. Uh, so the question is, how many birthing facilities has been mapped as of now? And what data gaps do you observe after gaining and mapping the data? Okay, so uh, there are... So how many instances have been mapped already? I've already mapped uh, already a hundred. So although that I haven't uh, published it publicly for public use, so we hope that we can refine it further with the help of uh, our community partners and uh, people in the uh, like you. <laughs> you can. Uh, you can uh, uh, improve it further and uh, yeah so the data gaps that i have observed after gaining the gaining and mapping the data so uh, okay so uh the gaps that i've observed so 
Okay, so the data, okay, um, the accuracy and then the availability of data, if we can, um, we can validate the information that we have on the ground regarding the uh, operation, the operations at the said facilities is still there or intact, or we can say that the this is still uh, accredited or um, accredited by the Department of Health or uh, right now in the Philippines we use the Department of health uh, that is comparable to other countries that they use uh, the Ministry of Health. So uh, there, uh, so yeah, um, the the gaps is the gap is that uh, the uh, the, uh, the availability of data. So that's all. Uh, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the questions. For the uh -huh. Yeah, thank you for uh, the answer. Yeah, we don't have any more questions uh, from the audience. So, uh, but yeah, do you have any um, closing remarks or closing message uh, to the audience since we have uh, some more time? My closing remarks here. So, uh, so I would like to thank uh, Mommy Arnelli <laughs> and uh, from the uh, from and uh, OSM Philippines and the geodatas as well regarding this uh, project. So that's all. Thank you for inspiring me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Rainier. So mm -hmm. yeah, we'll be back again uh, by 8.30 Argentina time. Uh, you can, uh, Rainier, if you can uh, put your email address on the chat so some audiences can also uh, reach out to right. you. So. Yeah, we'll have seven-minute break and we'll be back uh, at 8.30. See you.